All right, guys, welcome back into Kurt Magoosh and Slaughterhouse Sports. And today uh, we got a very exciting prospect. It's one of the top five prospects in the 23 class for quarterback. It's Jaden Rashada. Um, he's based out of uh, just outside of San Francisco and actually in the city of Pittsburgh. Uh, there's a Pittsburgh, Kansas. There's also a Pittsburgh, California. So here we're going to see Rashada. He is six three and a half, and might even grow to six four. So he has really good size for the position. And we're going to review these highlights. So here you see Rashada. This might be him throwing with the wind, um, or this is just impeccable arm strength, which it probably is. Um, Jaden Rashada throwing downhill, throws a dart on a line. That's a big-time throw with velocity. I mean, that's perfectly thrown. It's decisive. It's a big-time throw. Um, so we're already off to an impeccable start of watching Jaden Rashada. So here's Rashada, too. And what he does is, you know, he eyes down these middle safeties. And this is a really tight window throw against great defense, okay? It's cover to middle of the field open. But that safety is playing right on the hash. And there's no threats over here. So this throw needs to, again, be thrown with the right amount of velocity to get to his receiver. It's an impeccable, impeccable throw from Jaden Rashada with a rusher coming right into his face. He even gets hit as he releases this football and wow oh wow you start to watch even more of Rashada it is special stuff that's a wonderful throw by Jaden here he has a nice pocket he loads up throws a beautiful deep ball down the field about 50 yards 55 yards so he has this he has this velocity in his arsenal he has the arm strength to really throw the football down the field and he does that with good ability you watch this pocket it's a clean pocket great weight transfer and throw and i love it he's hunting big throws he's taking big throws and he's hitting them He's 6'4". Rashada steps up. This is probably the best throw he has. All right. This kid is every bit of a five-star quarterback. He is right up there with Malachi Nelson to be the number one quarterback in 23 that I have watched so far. Because Rashada, I mean, you go back to this throw. I mean, this is an incredible hole shot versus cover two. I mean, so many guys, and this safety plays it fine. You got to throw with incredible anticipation. This is a this is a thirty yard. He's throwing this from the twenty four yard line, all the way out to about the fifty, and you add on the amount of throw from the far hash to the side. This is about a forty yard throw that he needs to throw in the bucket, and he needs to throw with incredible. Um, anticipation but he has to lead his receiver he has to visualize this throw and he does this and he steps up and I bet I bet you he doesn't tip the safety on where he's going either no looks at that safety and is like I can fit this ball in the here I have the special stuff to do it he unloads and he does it and he hits the guy right in stride what a throw honestly might be my number one quarterback in this class because he is just so consistent and you watch him at camps as well he makes those tight window throws so this kid is a star quarterback star of stars and you watch this throw as well I like this throw because guess what it's thrown on the line okay he could you he has the ability to throw with touch too but oh my Gosh, I mean, I just love it. This kid's an attacking level thrower. He's an explosive player. He hunts the big plays and he'll throw with explosiveness. And watch that watch this motion again. Takes the snap. Watch this motion here from Rashada. He drills this ball, drills it to the back shoulder. And he has he has great size. I mean, there are no holes in this guy's game. And you watch some highlights, and it's easy throws. This kid, the way that he leads receivers, the way that he throws with touch, it's elite. The kid has elite-level throwing skills. All right? Now, there might be guys that might be able to do more outside the pocket because this guy is a pocket passer. 
But it's all right. I mean, this guy is mobile enough that if there's trouble, he could slide in the pocket. He has pocket mobility. So who does this guy remind you of? I mean, you look at this guy. I mean, I know I compared Nico to Jameis Winston. And Nico's a really good quarterback, too. Now, yeah, if we're going to nitpick here, I want this throw to be out longer. But, hey, do you think it got caught up in the wind? We don't know. We weren't at the game. He has that throw in his arm strength. I mean, he has the arm strength already of Mac Jones, who's a starter in the NFL. Okay? So, I mean, maybe Malachi has a bigger arm. You know, Devin Brown from last year has a bigger arm. So, the more upside, like Justin Herbert coming out, like had a bigger arm. But, I mean, this kid has the, 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 the size and the height and the way that his, his release is, is spectacular. Like, his form, his footwork, and release, he is a, such a defined player. And the way that he just can feel the, he can feel the way around the football field. He can feel throws. He can feel pressure. Feels trajectory. Knows where defenders are. Here's a fade route. Knows where to put it. Great, great. I, I would say that the, the way that distance control, all right? People play the sport of golf. It, it is like quarterbacking and shooting a three-pointer. It's the same way. You need to have distance control. He has incredible distance control. All these throws are right on target, and I love this here. This is like a Peyton Ford-style Mac Jones-like throw where he's in, the, he's in the middle of the field, he is pressured, he waits for the guy to cross, that's incredibly, what a quick release that throw is right there. I mean, that's butter in the biscuit. That's unbelievable stuff. That's NFL, that's an NFL throw on third down right there. I mean, this kid is twitchy. This kid has it all, all right? So I think that Rashada, I mean, I'm surprised that the heaviest of heavy hitters aren't out there for this guy. I mean, I know Oregon, I know Ole Miss, um, I mean, Tennessee had Nico. I mean, Alabama must ha- you know, have confidence in Ty Simpson. Um, Clemson, you know, they really like Kate a lot. Um, I think that, you know, you can make an argument for Malachi. There's other really good quarterbacks in this class. Um, I know that Arch Manning has some movement skills. Chris Parson also has a lot of ability. Um, I think that NFL wise, NFL wise, this guy transfers and how he's going to play in college. I also think it transfers extremely well to the college game as well. So, I mean, his arm strength, maybe in camps, like there's certain guys that can maybe throw like 65, 70 yards. He could probably throw it about 58, but he has plenty of velocity in the intermediate games. And like, these are NFL style throws. These are fur down stuff. He has the velocity, like he, he, he's on the trajectory to be an NFL starter, this kid. And he has such a quick release and he has so much talent. So I, I'm blown away by the tape and the way he can control the football. And that's a quick release right there. Back foot, bam. And that ball's coming out and it's anticipation. And this kid's smart and has it all. And it's just very well-schooled, very well-schooled kid. Now, I know he went to IMG, faced some adversity. Then he came back home, and he balled. And, you know, Jerion Dickey is also from Oregon. That is also kind of close by. I believe, like, maybe Jay Butterfield or one of the quarterbacks on Oregon has played at this high school, Pittsburgh High School. There you see nice touch, effortless throw to the back, back pylon. I'd say honestly, like the quality of these of these reps. So he has a lot of quarterbacks that I like in this game. Like he has a little bit of Jimmy Garoppolo. Um, he has great movement skills. You know, he has a little bit of Jameis in his game. He has some Peyton Forn in him. A lot of Peyton Forn in him. And I, I view Peyton Forn as a first rounder next year. Just because in the intermediate game, like the tight window throws that you're going to have to hit in the Pac-12, that you're none of these guys are going to be running wide open in college. And you even see him on seven on seven. He'll throw the tight window stuff. He's incredible throwing the tight window stuff. And he has all the ability in terms of, you know, in terms of the way that he throws the football. So, you know, Ever is going to be going to Ole Miss and be really dynamic with Weiss and Lane Kiffin because uh, Lane Kiffin knows quarterbacks really well, too. They were after Cameron Ward. They were after a couple of guys. All right, so he could compete with Jackson Dart or he can go to Oregon. 
And I think if this guy goes to Oregon, I think he's the answer. I think that you put him with Casper, you put him with Jerry on Dickey. Now they have Cozart. They have a couple of guys that are coming in that, that are on the team right now that are going to be really effective football players. Um, you know, with Dillingham's offense or lanes, they're going to be really good. I don't know about a and I don't know about Florida. I mean, a and he's certainly going to be high profile guy. Um, but there is a very good quarter. Jimbo likes the freshmen that they have this year. But I think that I think Rashad is just better. I think Jaden's just an awesome, awesome player. Um, I mean, I know he's a little bit lower on the, on the projections. I mean, Malachi is so special. So you're talking about like Mahomes. At, you know, Malachi Nelson has that ability to be like a Mahomes the more you watch him. So he's probably maybe number one. But it isn't too far for the second guy in this class. You know, it's Jaden Rashada. Uh, he is every bit of a five star. Uh, you know, I think he's going to be up there with the you know the, the second overall pick uh, from the quarterback position. I think he has more juice than Arch Manning. He throws with more velocity over the middle than Arch does. He's more decisive. Th- his the, the levels that he throws with with touch, distance control. He has all these tools in the bag. Um, that he's just really good. He can manipulate defenses. He's smart, accurate. He has everything you want in a player. I believe he's going to be an NFL starter. That's how good he's going to be, and I think that he's going to be a tremendous college quarterback, a very, 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 very good starting quarterback, Um, potentially an elite college quarterback and potentially you know, a long-term NFL starter if he stays healthy. So he's every bit worth the hype. And it's going to be exciting because he's going to be announcing in the near future where he's going to be playing college ball, whether it's in the SEC or it's out in Oregon or out in the West Coast. Um, So it's going to be very intriguing to see what's up with Jaden Rashada out of Pittsburgh, California.